everybody and welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 video. We are on the West Somerset Railway Remastered. Um, don't worry, it's still the same West Somerset Railway. You don't need to buy anything extra or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to do a service over to Willerton. Well, it goes all the way to uh, Minehead, but we're not going to go all the way to Minehead on the video. So we're going to go as far as Willerton. Quite an interesting service being a double-headed 4F, well, 4F and then a Jubilee behind it. Anyway, let's get, let's unpause the game and uh, let's get into it. That is extremely noisy, my end. Uh, let's hop in. Where, are we in the seat? Oh, we're in the, yeah, the driver's position. Uh, let's get the doors unlocked. Cool. And uh, this is where a lot of people have been getting stuck. Um, because the brakes of the 4F don't actually, well they, they don't release um, and that is because you have to do this, ready? if it lets us go on the outside cam there we are you have to um, signal to the driver of the Jubilee that the brakes can be released so make sure you do that because otherwise you're not going to get very far um, already given up just like, ugh had enough already. Uh, let's start to forward. Start getting that off. Um, where are the cylinders on this? That's a large ejector. Where's the small ejector? Uh, that's fine, yeah. Where are the cylinders? Oh, there they are. We've got a little bit longer and then we can uh, make our way. I'm just going to turn up the audio just a tad. Uh, I don't know what we would have. Uh, I'm going to put those two on. That looks correct. If it is or not, is another matter. But yeah, it's quite a weird service, but it's a cool service. And this one actually comes up from Norton Fitzwarren as well. Which is sort of part one. It's quite cool. Right, let's get the uh, doors shut. Um, and yeah, Crocum Heathfield is our next station stop. Uh, large ejector. No, not that. Hang on. Wait. You, no. Uh, you go to that. That one. I think the brake's already off, so let's go. There we go, look at that. Yeah, part of the West Somerset Railway new timetable, which uh, once we finish this, uh, we'll come out and I'll show you all the different bits you get. This is one of the cool new things there is. Get the cylinders shut. There we are. No um, speedometer on this, so it's really a guessing game what speed you're going. Lovely. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, improvements to the route, and what I'll do is I'll go through them as well as we go go along, because there's not really much else to, to do as we go along. Especially on this bit, it's quite easy. Uh, let me load up the article. Yeah, West Somerset Railway Remastered. Where is the article about this new bit and bog? Uh, there we go. Oh, also patch notes as well. I'll have a look at that as well. Oh, this is actually this is a lot better. There we go. So these are the highlights of the update. As we um, slowly speed up, let's have a look. So, uh, TOD4 lighting and dynamic weather, so sort of the standard TSW4 lighting, the volumetric clouds, the weather changing, uh, scenery updates, uh, which includes Minehead Town, uh, Watch at Harbour, and the Yard of Bishop's Lydiard, which, if we're quick, we can, about, we can probably fly back. <coughs> fly back, fly back, fly back. They've got the, um, the new shed in at Bishop's Lydiard. 
You see it? Just down there. You've got that, yeah, the new shed um, just here. Right, let's fly back. And also the water tower, you can now use that as well. That's another thing you can uh, you can use. Uh, volumetric fog and chain path. So, yeah, volumetric fog. Yeah, it's quite obvious what it is. Well, that's a lot of speed there. Um, what else we've got? Ch yeah, chain paths. So if you're not familiar with chain paths, um, that is where, say, in Scenario Planner, you could go from Minehead to Bishop's Lydiard, but then you could then go back to Crocombe Heathfield and then back to um, back to uh, Bishop's Lydiard. It's sort of yeah, you can go from A to B to C to D to E. So that's what that is. Uh, audio improvements to the route on the 47, the 09, the 33 and 52 add-ons. Uh, short extension to the track scenery, that's not the track, to the scenery uh, at Norton Fitzroy to include part of the Bristol to Exeter mainline for AI traffic. Uh, coal loading, uh, functioning water towers and AI whistling at whistleboard locations. And a new additional timetable, uh, which is the Steam Gala one, uh, which, we're, uh, which we're doing now. Which we'll have a look at once we get to Willerton. This is a really cool service at this one. Let's get a nice, uh, a nice sort of shot of, of the train going past. A four F strung up with a jubilee. No, a four F. Does say A F? A four F. Yeah. Look at that. It is nice to see the 4F getting a bit more <coughs> playability. As a peak forest, the 4F is completely dead. It's like a little bit of shunting. You've got the uh, banking moves, uh, and that's about it. <coughs> it's not really much to do in 4F. Uh, let's see. It's, this is the full channel log. Um, what have we not gone through? Uh, done that, done that. Added tunnel and bridge noises, added canopy rain noises, added new foliage and scenery across the route, added unique sounds to each collectible and picked up, added functional level crossing, updated seawater material, updated route, uh, route terrain material, updated the track to use bullhead, rail and sleeper models, um, smooth terrain along coast where bumps were found, uh, redone uh, route zonal ambience audio, Extended signal noise distance slightly. Uh, passengers should now have TSW4 clothing. <coughs> uh, Fixed an issue where rain would fall through the station canopy at Minehead. So get that sound. Uh, for the class 09, added TSW4 rain effects, added AI horn functionality. Uh, fixed the class 09 horn cutting out when sounded. Uh, altered internal cab mix. Uh, added internal version of the 09 horn. Uh, fix an issue where the player spawns incorrect on the 09 introduction. We'll go through the rest in a second. Let's have a little break of patch notes. Let you guys catch up. <coughs> this should be roughly about 25. Feels about 25. It doesn't help we don't have a speedometer. I wonder if that would be possible to add, sort of just for this route, having the speedo. Well, it's not too fast, Crocombe Heathfield now, our uh, first stop. There we go. Right, back to the patch notes. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, patch notes, patch notes, patch notes. So, for the class <laughs> 33, <coughs> we've got TSW4 rain effects to the windows, AI horn functionality, clicks, um, fix the class 33 horn, implemented a new horn system to improve the loop end transitions, uh, tweaked entire loco, uh, loco mix internal and external, added internal version of the horn, and tweaked the horn to its sensitivity. It goes on and on. Uh, class 52, exactly the same. 
and sent for the 47 is basically just all audio and adding the rain effects and AI horn functionality and for the Mark 1's um, fixed LOD issues players can now open and close the gangway doors uh, stock should now have the light on by default uh, and fix passengers falling onto the tracks when basically getting on and getting off. Well, that's that's the uh, full patch notes. Cool. Uh, there's a little bit more to go through from the article, which we'll have a look at after. Which basically just tells you what add-ons you need for the different layers. Hopefully, I haven't lost you yet. <laughs> track does look pretty fresh as well it's been changed a lot nicer there it comes a double headed steam, um, steamer pretty special to see Look at that, we're actually, well not, we're probably going, look, I'm just looking at the speed there. We're doing pretty well. I don't want the bars so high. At 23. We're doing pretty well for the, um, even though we don't have a speed though. Sort of keep it out of good, <laughs> keeping it out of good speed. It's good. They're not too far to Crocoom Heathfield. Oh, let's try and get a nice shot, actually. Whilst we're at it. Yeah, I like a bit of that. That, that. that looks decent. We'll get that up quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Oh. We'll get that up a fair bit. Bit of rotation, maybe. Yeah, there we go, I like that. Let's get that. Cool. That's the thumbnail sorted. As we uh, make our way up. I think we get the distance signal. Is it on this corner we get it for Procoom here, Field? Maybe not. No, a bit further up. Love the sort of synchronised audio of the 4F and the 8F working in sync to get up the hill. I think it's going down, it's going to be a right pain. As we've got vacuum brakes. Uh, and we're going, to, but we're going to be on the downhill gradient all the way down to Willerton. So that's where it's going to be a bit like, ah. Called Consist, and there's also a freight special as well, uh, where you can run a freight train along the line. <laughs> as like a well, just for the enthusiast, really. And it's on here, isn't it? Is it coming up? There it is. There. So we're coming up to our first station stop at Crocoom Heathfield. <laughs> yeah, nice to just be driving the 4F on a different route and actually doing a passenger service. A double headed which is quite cool. I don't, know, I don't think there's any 4F services which just the 4F alone with the Mark uh, 1s. <coughs> that would be cool. I don't think that exists. Imagine getting the Flying Scotsman or the AF on the front of this. Or like a, a triple headed train. Right. 
this is where it could go all wrong. If not dealt with carefully, because there's always a red light at the end here. So we've got to be really careful. Because otherwise, all of that going up the hill, nice and good, is just going to be for nothing. Got to take it really, probably will go purposely really slow. So I've probably I've spanned this signal, I think, about two to three times on TSW, which is quite high. Uh, I don't spad much, but this is one of those signals where it's really easy to go past it. Nice and slow up to it. No spads allowed. Especially as we've got the heavy train behind us as well. It's looking good at the moment. Now that was perfect. Here we are. Hokum Heafield. And we'll get the cylinders open. There we go. Here we are. If we can get out, that is. Anybody getting on? That's a few people getting on. You guys not interested? Like now, nah, went for the Scotsman. That is on his blinking foot. Like, yeah, mate, you're out. Chill out. You're here. Like a business call. There must be some sort of big group all going to get. Oh, hang on. Oh, they're off. They are off. Oh, they're going to make it in time. Oh, no, I think, yeah, they're getting on now. They've made it. They just wanted to get more time of the loco. Uh, we have got the road, um, so let's get in, uh, get that shut, and uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh, they've just got the brake. Got, got to wait for the brakes to come off first, which don't take too long. Not too long at all. Right, a little bit of power. And it's Stow Gumber next, which is going to be a right pain coming in too. Hopefully we've actually fit in the platform. So it's not got the longest of platforms. And we'll just leave it like that. We do not need. We don't. We basically we don't need to do anything until Stow Gumba. Uh, the only thing we need to do is the brakes. Because this is where it gets very steep. And the brakes on this train are a bit pants. So uh, this is where it gets slightly more. Uh, you know, things could go wrong. So we'll take it nice and slow. As we uh, make our way down. Let it sort of coast down. Although we are picking up speed and quite quickly actually. I'd say we're near enough at 25 so we'll start getting those uh, brakes on. Try and sort of keep us at a good um, good speed. It's going to be hard to, but should be okay. Nice and steady. I 
look at that. I mean, look how beautiful it looks. It really is nice. This isn't scenario planner. This is not free run. This is just timetable mode. As we uh, make our way down. Put the reverser down a little bit, although not much need to. As we're not accelerating really. In fact, let's put it back up. The only thing we need to do is just keep on top of those brakes, and that's it. There it goes. Are they like that then? And they're not. They're fine. That's a bit weird. Okay. Right then. So for some reason the right hand doors and only the front two coaches are open. Um, how bizarre. What's it saying on saying they're open but we didn't open the right hand side ones well we'll do that it was, only, it was only the front two as well which is weird how bizarre get those brakes on a bit that speed is starting to go away a little bit Keep on top of it. Hopefully, the audio levels are all good. Have the echo of the um, whistle. Good stuff, Firewoman. I don't really know why you are putting more in as we're going downhill. But um, if you want to, then fair enough. Cows grazing in the field. Which all the fields have been updated as well. Um, so you've got like wheat fields, barley fields, and they're seasonal as well. Uh, seasonal as well. This is sort of what got introduced in the Nidatal barn. Where you know, in winter they won't be all grown, and in summer and whatever they'll be grown. It's also a lot more textures to the fields as well as before. They were just sort of barren and had no texture to them really. Which is good to see. No, it shouldn't be too far to stow gun but out. Going off timings. Where the railway's going, or I think is it just coming up now? It's not. It's not far to Stow Gumber. So I'm just feathering the brakes. Is it? Is it, I think we go round and we go to the right, and it's on that right. Possibly. Although on this route, it's just. I mean, you've got plenty of time to react to a stop coming up. to the updated West Somerset Railway. Look at that. The beauty of steam. This is gorgeous. The colours of this room sort of the uh, warmer months, or May, uh, June, July, August. 
just lovely. Get the brakes on. Come and stay with Gumbo, where are you? Can't be far off. Yeah, here it is, coming up now. Right, welcome to Stogumba. Which has got quite a short platform, so we've been sort of quite cautious coming into it. I'm not actually certain the train is going to fully fit in, so what we'll do is we'll go past the platform, purposely go past the platform. Um, just to try and, because it doesn't really matter if the locomotives aren't in the platform, we want the carriages to be in the platform. I mean, it might, but yeah, well, we'll go past the platform, just in case. Actually, it, it might be fine. Now, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go past. Or at least we'll get this loco uh, past. That will do. Yeah, let's see how that is. Uh, cylinders, we'll get them open. There we are. Let's see. Yeah, that was pretty. I mean, we actually probably could. Now, if you had them on. It would be close. You might just be able to. Uh, you might just be able to fit them in, but it would be close. So it probably is worth going just past the platform, which we've done here, and well, that's perfect, really. This is Stogumba. Our next station stop is Willerton. Right. Brakes are coming off still. And we should just basically start rolling once they... Uh, there we are, you can see now. As we are still going downhill. And we're off. Lovely afternoon, yeah, late afternoon, sort of, no, uh, yeah, oh, early evening run on the West Somerset. You can just, you can, you can, you can feel it, you can, yeah, you can sort of feel it, you can smell it. Does that sound a bit weird? <laughs> but like, yeah, I think I've set this to sort of June, so you can sort of just, I know it would be there, yeah, sort of. I don't know, there'd be that nice warm breeze. I don't know, it, you can tell it would be nice. It's one of those really nice, sort of perfect summer days, so it's not too warm, but not cold in any way. I think this bit, uh, I think this bit's slightly less um, steep, but we are still nonetheless going downhill. And we were a little bit late into uh, Stogumba, so we might not be going a full 25. But then, without the speed, though, it's quite hard to tell.
So we're going a little bit quick here, so we'll get those brakes on. Sort of tell when you might be going over 25 a bit. No, that was sort of one of those uh, one of those times. It was like, oh, might be going a little bit quick. So it's a nice sort of open area, perfect for a nice shot. You've got a nice haze in the distance as well. It's just gorgeous, this route. It really is gorgeous. I mean, even without the update, it was still gorgeous, but this just makes it even better. I've just got to be careful. It was sort of about three miles to Witherton. So still a little bit of a way. It's been 31 minutes so far. I think it was it was going to be about 35 minutes. And we're a little bit late, so... But we're not that far off now. It's sort of opened up a little bit. Trying to work out what 25 is, I'd say about this. But I think it's a very nice service to do. But yeah, we'll, just, we'll take it as far as Willerton, and then once we get there, we'll come out and I'll show you what you get within the um, timetable. Which I suppose we could go through what trains you need. Yeah, so this is the playable layer. So these are the trains you can drive. So this is what you need for all of those drivable um, services. So you, of course, need the West Somerset Railway, uh, the Flying Scotsman, the Peak Forest for AF, 4F and Jubilee, uh, the West Cornwall Local for the Class 150, which does the um, shuttle services uh, between Norton Fitzroy and Bishop's Lydiard, and the West Cornwall Steam Rail Tour um, pack by Rivet Games. And then for the AI layers in the new timetables, the Steam Gala timetable, you've got the Heavy Freight Pack, the Tees Valley Line, the Class 20, Great Western Express for the HST, uh, Northern Trans Pennine, uh, the Rail Operations Group Class 37, uh, the RHTT, the South Eastern High Speed, the Class 33 and the Class 52. And there's also been a little bit added to the old timetable, so that's the Diesel Gala. So for the player born AI layers in that timetable, so this is the diesel one, uh, class 33, class 52, Northern Trans Pennine, BR Heavy Freight Pack, Tees Valley, class 20 and class 31. Right, we're not far from Wellington now. Yeah, there's a few more sound whistle boards. I don't remember as many as that on the original <coughs> release. There it goes. But nice to have steam on this route. And hopefully if we get Great Western um, region steam at some point, hopefully we'd see that sort of substitute onto here. I'm sure it would. I suppose that would be the next step of this route, is actually having the Great Western steam locos. The Manor class, King class, all those type ones. 
What a great western have. Yeah, manor, king, castle. Um, what else? Quite a few more others. Large prairies, small prairies. They're all great western. Oh, the king class. That's the other one. King class. Probably the most knowledge I've got of Steam Locos is the Great Western region. Thanks to Riviera Line in the 50s on this uh, on Trentsim Classic. into Willerton. Speed does come down. So 10 miles per hour. interesting to see what speed once it comes up with the performance chart to see how we've actually done without a speedometer there we are. is that another train just ahead of us oh no there's something in the um, carriage so I didn't Nice and steady again. No spads allowed. Well, that one's got um, top and tail to it. Kind of go past a little bit here again. That would do. Yeah, some quite cool services in the fact uh Well that one actually is a short platform. Then you've got a Jubilee on the front and at the back you've got an AF. I mean quite cool some of these ones you've got. Nice sort of mix up. Um ah, beautiful. Let's um go back to the timetable and I'll show you what services you have. And what trains you have as well. We should have every everything installed as we're on the PlayStation, so on that I have every DLC. So once we load back out, I guess it's longer to load out than it takes to load in. It's like, come on, do your thing. Let's get in there. To the trains, pick a route, West Somerset Railway, you see Steam Gala. So you've got the 4F, uh, which says the uh, set B and set G. I think the set G is the freight service, and set B is the one we've just done. Uh, the, the 09, uh, a little bit of light loco stuff. Um, the 150 for the shuttle services. As you can see there. Uh, 47 winter special. Um, I guess probably the one with the lights on it. Uh, Flying Scotsman. Uh, which is set A, uh, Jubilee does what set E, G does a whole lot. Mega Train, look at that Mega Train. What is the Mega Train? Hmm. Uh, and they got the AF as well, uh, which does a little bit there as well. I'm interested to see what the Mega Train is. Mega Train. Let's quickly have a little sneaky look. The Mega Train. Mega train, mega train, where is it now? Where are you, mega train? Mega train, let's quickly just load in just to see what that is. I think I've set it for winter, so it will be pitch black. 
<clears throat> what is the Mega Train? Intriguing. Oh yeah, completely dark. Brilliant. Well, let's say you've got yeah Jubilee on the front, an 8F. Oh wow! I mean, it does stretch quite a way back. I mean, it is quite a long train. Uh, well, this is Bishop Lydiard at night. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's coming from me. Uh, links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.